<clears throat> Welcome to this uh, weekend uh, video post, uh, video podcast of my story. Uh, I usually do all these video podcasts in one take. Of course, there will be a few mistakes and that makes it a little real and not filmy. Besides, I also pray before I uh, make these video posts, uh, podcasts, because, and that allows my Lord to work uh, in and through me and to allow what needs to be said and prevent what does not need to be said. said. Uh, coming to uh, this weekend post, uh, I'm just going very quickly to what were what the week that was where we started and where we are today in my story i received a call from a very dear friend uh, yesterday asking me where i was headed and usually my story in christian circle means uh, testimony um, but here i have in mind both my christian friends as well as my non-christian non-christian friends so i thought it good to quickly go back a few steps go back and recollect what this uh, the the week that was uh, if you remember the clear objective of my story is to tell my story in the context of this uh, diverse and beautiful country that i was born in i was born in valsad uh, I have shifted to Bombay and I'm telling you the story of my life in Bombay. Uh, I, I, I tell you my story in the context of being Indian as well as Christian. And my story cannot be separated from the story of the Lord Jesus Christ and his rule in life. Today, we are flooded with a barge of education from WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, from Meta University. And the, the morning I prepared this post I received uh, in Meta University, this uh, post, a good morning uh, message from one of the roosters that said that truth cannot be interpreted, it can only be experienced. And if you experience it, it is a reality, otherwise it is just a story uh, attributed to none other than the self-styled Satguru. And, I, and, and we, I'll, I'll get to you more about this because so this self-styled Satguru was born four years before me. And I experienced him when my wife joined his organization for, when I was 48 and 49. Uh, the fallacy and the ridiculousness of this so-called no absolute truth of postmodern life in this world today, in this uh, planet today, is, is so ridiculous. It says that Sadhguru did not exist till I experienced him when I was 49 years old. I continued my story of how, even though I was born in Gujarat and I was, I'm not a Gujarati, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, how uh, one month before I was born, uh, erstwhile first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru convened a meeting of the National Integration Council to tackle the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, problems that are associated with this beautiful diverse land with multiple languages, multiple religions and multiple geography to tackle communalism, casteism and regionalism. And we saw that, uh, you know, how It is, you know, this national integration and uh, what is associated with my Sadhguru. I use that term for my Christ, Jesus Christ, my Lord Jesus Christ, only so that it could relate to my countrymen. Uh, the Sufi Saint Kabir is all but stopped short of naming the Lord Jesus Christ. He said that the Sadhguru is a Satpurush, a perfect man who needs to be worshipped and in the worship of him, the Satpurush is the worship of all, all deities. Now, my, my goodness me, and, and, and I'm telling you, and, and when the Lord Jesus Christ came to this planet and intersected our reality, it was this, uh, you know, it was this plan uh, of uniting at the right time, at the fullness of time, to unite all things in the Lord Jesus Christ, all things in heaven and on earth. 
and the way that it is done is through the hammer of affliction and you can see those nails uh, to, to, to nail you with him and unite you with him on the cross so that you can share in his resurrection and life. Yes, so coming back to our national integration uh, in my school that I have studied in, uh, St. Xavier's High School and the St. Xavier's High uh, Parish, which I was attached to as a boy and for many years, uh, participated in Nehru's plan and program for uh, for national integration. Every morning for five years, I said uh, Rabindranath Tagore's prayer for uh, uh, where the mind is without fear, publish, you know, which he was published along with Gitanjali, for which he won the Nobel Prize. Where, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, but the world, his prayer was not answered. Where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. Where the mind is led forward by thee into ever winding thought and action. His prayer was not really fully answered, but we will see more of that, and it will be, if, if we continue uh, to see that life is about assimilating and order, and not about dissemination and disorder. But, and, and, and then, you know, why I say that, why I say that? Because, uh, because this self styled Sadhguru I came to know through a customer who drove with me in my cab, whom I was dropping to her place after she was locked down for many months. Uh, she told me that Sadhguru had written a book on how to die. My goodness me, because my, my Jesus Christ said that he has come to give life and life in abundance so this this these poles apart this poles apart you know how how to die and life and life in abundance what is what is the question what is the right right question me a student of science who has studied both physical life and experienced spiritual life in the lord jesus christ okay no that life as I mentioned just a little while ago. Life is about assimilation and order and as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in Christ. In Christ. At the moment, we only see chaos and disorder. And that is a state of death. That is a state of death. Death, when the physical body disintegrates, it's, it's, it's a dissemination into chaos and disorder and this restoration is what Jesus Christ had come into this world. Uh, we also saw that India though mentioned in the biblical times and the, the, uh, the story of Xerxes and Queen Esther, it is not the geography that we live in but it was something else and but the lesson we learnt that this King Xerxes through his Queen and and the you know and through a foolishness of his that that uh, that uh, uh, that that had ordered the uh, genocide of a minority religion the Jews the because through the intervention of his queen the tables were turned the tables were turned we can read all about that in the book of Esther. Uh, this is uh, then I, I I I grew up as you know in Maharashtra, my favorite place, where I had decided you know when I had written penned my story on a bench in Mathiran looking at the sunset, and I said it is time to tell my story. I'd even written a page about it. Mathiran, a beautiful place. Maharashtra, Maharashtra. I'll tell you where I'm where I am going. Tell you where I'm going. You know, a place of Utsal Pau, Misal Pau, Vada Pau. Uh, where I lived in Kalkal uh, in, in in Kalpana. I had Maharashtrian friends. I don't name them, and East Indian friends. I don't name them because this is a live postcast. But they are my friends, and I I've had shared great days of growing up with them. And we used to, you know, have be a such a lovely. The effects of national integration was truly felt in this building in Kalpana. It was truly felt. We celebrated holy together. I wonder if my cousins have pictures of 
us in the holy colors we 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 exchange sweets during the hindu festivals and christian festivals my friends the maharashtrians uh, loved the kalkals which we made at christmas time and i loved their besan laddu oh la 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 which they used to make at uh, during diwali but coming now to today, today's message this morning i told you i sent a message to many people who may have received it that food has a way of uniting food unites you know you if you want to if you want to if you want to have uh uh if you want to have unity in the community call them over to eat some biryani that's what we do in bangalore biryani and brinjal vegetables please come and 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 i'm telling you it is a great way to stay united today i cooked some kaldin for my mama fish kaldin it's a it's a bland coconut based curry uh it's a goan recipe it's a goan recipe so you see i was born in gujarat not a gujarati i was brought up in maharashtra but i was not a maharashtrian and i was married to a goan and i loved goan food but i am not a goan the 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 the, the when i said that i am anglo indian and i am england uh, an indian first and not uh you know i it may have sounded a little arrog it may have sounded a little arrogant but the point i was trying to make is that since it is not it is since i do not belong to any geographical state wherever i be and that's how we should be as indians not indians first and then uh our regional uh affiliations i told you that my story cannot be separated from my the lord jesus christ whom i have experienced whom i have learned to love and whom i worship i worship because he is both god and man he i identify with him in his humanity and i aspire and persevere that i may be like him not now but when he comes again i may be like him so the before he went to the cross he instituted something which we christians as traditionally do you know we we traditionally do i am not going into the theology i am not going into the into the spiritual aspect of it i am going to concentrate on something that is worth while listening to jesus said instituted this which which we call the last supper the sup the the, the meal uh, jesus had with his 12 disciples before he went up to the cross on calvary and we know that he was sent he was sent just at the right time as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him things in heaven and things in earth and i said food is something which unites you know he said uh, that unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood you can have no life in you you can have no life in you and we know that life is assimilation and order and death is decimin decimation decimation and disorder so he says if you don't eat my flesh and drink my blood you cannot have life in you this teaching was sounded so hard that some of the disciples who were walking with him they left him and uh, and this is at this meal he says he says you take this bread and eat this is my body and take this cup of wine and drink it and this is my blood if if food does not unite and i hope that one day jesus christ would be your food if you think food does not unite if you remember i gave you the illustration of the dabba wala of bombay a whole enterprise that entered as an example in the harvard business school of management or as a case study was centered around food 
food that was cooked in the homes of the mumbaikars and delivered hot and fresh to the work tables of the workforce of the large workforce of mumbai during lunch time accurately and completely these are these great men of this enterprise whom you see in this picture coming now what you will you will in the coming week i have to fast forward a little uh, otherwise it will get boring i studied in wilson college wilson college is one of the oldest colleges in bombay when i was in college um how many years many years ago let's say in 19 from 1980 to 1984 when i was in college it celebrated it's 150 years so you can imagine how old this university is in fact uh, this college was uh, was started by a christian uh, uh, reverend john wilson in 1932 i have great friends from this period of my life and we have we are we are united on one of on one group in meta university it's a place where we relate to each other of we are of diverse political political affiliations we are diverse political affiliations religions also we have within christianity and also others hindus and uh, catholics and protestants and jehovah witnesses you name it we it's a place where we can let down our hair uh, but some i i know some of my friends don't have hair to let down but that's another matter yeah but we can be ourselves and it's a place that is clean though it is called 98 1980 studs i worked hard to keep it clean and happy thank you and this is all for this is all for today folks this is all for today and i hope that you have enjoyed it as much as i have enjoyed uh making this uh, podcast it may be a little long but my friends uh uh listen to it till the end join me monday 6:30 live god bless have a great weekend and love you all love my country and love my countrymen see you